Mr. Mendel, did you tell her that she had to come alone? Um, I told her, yes. Afterwards, after they left, it turns out I know her friend. She grew up, her friend grew up with my sisters. And even though she's a family friend, I go, you're presumptuous to think that you can come to my home with whoever you want. In other words, don't do it. All right, I have nothing further. Uh, judge, no, do you? No. Okay, all right. The parties are excused while we deliberate in this matter. I'm not an expert in vanities, but I'm looking at this, and she paid him 3000 or so dollars for it, and he even went out on his own and worked on it to try and satisfy her, and she's rejecting it because she's afraid to go alone to see it, and he won't let her come with friends. My so, issues is that the defendant kept the plaintiff in the loop. He created something in accordance to the sketches that she signed off on, but then expected him to change it when she didn't like what he produced and didn't want to pay the money for the labor. Right. But at that point, she's stuck with either paying for a redesign or just uh, abandoning it and going elsewhere. I don't think she gets her money back. I would deny her complaint. I would award him additional labor costs that he incurred and order him to make the vanity available for pickup. Sounds like we have a verdict? Yeah. This court is again in session. We've arrived at a verdict. It's unanimous. And frankly, we felt that the original contract indicated specifications that you agreed to and that the photograph that we have of his final product indicates that he did that and he spent additional time and labor to do that. So under the circumstances, we find that you failed to meet your burden of proof in order for us to return the money you paid for the work that he did. But we also find that you, sir, have met your burden of proof in showing us that you did additional labor in order to comply with the requests of the plaintiff. So our ruling is your complaint is dismissed, your cross complaint is granted to the extent of $1,165, and you are directed to turn over the finished product within two weeks, and if you don't pick it up in two weeks, then you're free to dispose of it as you wish. That's the verdict of the court. Thank you both very much.